Hi Matt enthusiast! Welcome again sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang Matt ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. For today's video, ang i-discuss natin ay about problems involving operations on rational algebraic expressions. Now, ia-apply na natin dito yung mga skill na napag-aralan natin with our simplifying, with our addition, subtraction, division, and multiplication and division, nasabi ko na ba, ng ating RAE. Now, yung ibinigay ko ditong example is very simple lang. Ngayon, kung meron kayong request na gusto nating isolve na problem, kindly send the problems dun sa ating Facebook page na Love Math, ha? Kasi dito, ang hirap naman kung i-type nyo lahat dito sa comment section yung problem na gusto nyo gawa natin ng tutorial. Ngayon, pwede nyo siyang i-message dun sa ating page. Okay, love math page. Yung link nun ay nasa description box natin. Pwede nyo siyang kopyahin at i-type and then para ma-search ma nyo siya. Okay, para magawa natin ng tutorial. So, let's start. Aha! Uh -huh. The width of a rectangular swimming pool so meron tayong swimming pool is 6y plus 8 and the length, so yun yung width niya, and the length of the rectangle or the rectangular swimming pool is 12y plus 16. Now, determine the ratio of the width to the perimeter. Kailangan natin ma-identify yung ratio ng width to the perimeter. So, how are we going to do that? Paano ba natin siya gagawin? So, una, i-illustrate muna natin para medyo na-i-imagine na natin or alam natin yung itsura nung sinosolve natin. So, suppose this is the rectangular swimming pool. Okay? Ang width niya daw or yung kapal niya ay 6y plus 8. May mga kilala ba kayong mga kapal dyan, ha? <laughs> Joke. And then, yung length niya ay 12y plus 16. So, eto na ngayon yung measurements ng ating uh, rectangular swimming pool. Baka kayo yung nagtataka, bakit kaya ganyan yung mga measurements niyan nila? Mayroong mga letters, no? Kaya siya ganyan, kasi nga, ang pinag-uusapan natin ay rational algebraic expressions. Kaya wag nang magtaka, ha? Since RAE yan, combination yan ng numbers and letters. Okay, now, let's supply the following. We have to have the perimeter. Yung perimeter natin, ang formula niyan ay 2 length plus 2 width. Ibig sabihin, whatever our length, kailangan i-multiply natin siya by 2. Whatever the width, i-multiply din natin siya sa 2 and then we add the product. Why? Kasi yung length natin dito sa rectangular swimming pool na yan, makikita mo, isa, eto, and then dalawa. And then, isa, dalawa. So, pag perimeter, ina-add kasi natin lahat ng sides. So, para mas madali, yung multiply na lang yung length by 2 and then yung width by 2. So, let's have. Kung isusulat natin siya pa ganyan, we will have here 2 times, ang length natin ay 12y plus 16. Okay. Plus, we have here 2 times 6y plus 8. Naintindihan ba tong part na to? 2 times length. So, 2 times yung given length natin. Ilagay nga natin dito. Ang length natin ay 12y plus 16. Kaya, yan yung nilagay natin dyan. And, ang width natin ay 6y plus 8. O, para mas maintindihan. Kaya, ito naman yung nakalagay natin dito sa W natin. Now, syempre, dahil ayan na, alam na, alam nyo na kung anong mangyayari dyan, kailangan natin tong isimplify. How? So, by distributing this. So, magkakaroon tayo ngayon ng, dyan ko na ba isolve? O, dito ko na lang isosolve. Dito ko na lang isolve, ha? Okay. Plus 2 times 6y plus 8. Okay, so multiply, distribute. This will be 24y plus, ilan to? 16 times 2 is 32. Okay, plus 2 times 6y, 12y plus 2 times 8 is how many? That is 16. Okay, and then we combine similar terms. Pero bago yan, ibaba ko lang muna itong ratio dito kasi magsusolve tayo. 
Okay? Nga pala, huwag kalimutang i-share tong videos na to at mag-aya pa kayo ng ating mga subscribers para marami namang manood ng video na ginagawa ko, ha? Please, pakishare sa mga classmates no, huwag niyong sulohin ng information. Okay? So, we have here, pwede na natin i-combine yung similar terms. Okay, ang similar terms dyan ay itong 24y and then 12y. Adding, the, adding them, 24 plus 12 is 36y. O kung hindi nyo ma-imagine, yung 24 added to 12, okay, so 6 and then 36. That's why we have 36y. Copy lang yung ating variable plus 32 plus 16, so 32 plus 16, we'll have here 6 plus 2 is 8, 4 plus 1 is 4, so 48. So, ito din ay na-add na natin. Okay, since we have this one na, pwede pa natin siyang i, ano, i-simplify, i-factor natin, common monomial factoring. Ano ang common monomial, common monomial nila? Ano yung, ano nila? Greatest common monomial factor, GCMF. Aha, divisible sila pareho by 12. Alam nyo ba kung paano kumuha ng ano, greatest common factor? Meron akong video nito dito, kaso sa fraction siya, pero applicable din naman siya dito, okay? Kung nahihirapan kayo kumuha ng greatest common factor, panoorin nyo yung lowest term ko. Yung pag lowest term ko, kasi yung pinaka nasa labas na number doon, yun yung GCF natin. Pero para mas paganda, gagawa na lang ako ng ibang video para doon. Panoorin nyo na lang ha. Sabihin nyo kung papanoorin nyo para gagawin ko. Kung hindi, di, hindi ko na lang gagawin. I-comment lang sa ating comment section. Okay, so we have here now, dahil 12 ang common nila, so 36 divided by 12 is 3. And then since may Y tie dito, 3Y. Plus 48 divided by 12 is 4. Okay. Now, this is our perimeter. Ito na ang ating perimeter. Okay. Now, since we have our perimeter, we can identify now the ratio. Ang ratio daw dapat ay width over perimeter. So, ang ratio natin ay... Sorry. We have here width over perimeter. Width over perimeter. Ano ba ang width natin? Ayun o, 6y plus 8 over this one. 12 times 3y plus 4. Siyempre, kahit ganyan na yan, naisulat na natin yung ganyan, kailangan pa rin natin siyang isimplify. Okay? Meron pa kasing factor yung 6 and 8. Ano yung factor niya? Excuse me, may greatest common factor pa sila 2. So, if I'll take 2, anong matitira sa loob? 6y divided by 2, magiging 3y na lang siya. Plus, 8 divided by 2, 4 na lang siya. Okay, over 12 times 3y plus 4. Okay, as you can see, meron tayong mga cancel, cancel to, cancel to. Ang matitira ay 2 over 12. Pero yung 2 over 12, sorry, pwede pa siyang i-lowest term. Anong lowest term yan? Kung napakinggan nyo yung ating ibang discussion, alam nyo na ang ginagamit ko ay ladder method. Ha? Pwede nyo i-search yung ladder method dito sa aking playlist. Meron ako dun sa fractions para alam nyo kung paano mas mabilis mag-lowest term. Pero yung iba, kaya naman na mentally to. Kayang-kaya naman na sagutin yung mentally. Pero kung hindi nyo kaya, di gawin nyo yung ladder method. Anong number ang pwedeng ipang-divide kay 2 and 12? So, 2, this will be 1. 12 divided by 2 is... 6. So, the simplified term or the lowest term of this is 1 over 6. Kaya, ang final answer natin ay 1 over 6. So, that's problem number 1. For problem number 2, if a 4 is divided by a number, it is equal to 3. So, kung 4 daw ay i-divide ko by a number, it is equal to 3 divided by the number decrease by 2. Okay? So, let's represent. Ano ba? Paano ba natin i-represent yung equation na yan? Kung, so, kung si 4 daw, i-divide ko by a number, since we do not know the number, i-represent natin siya as x. So, let, let, 
Let x be the number. Okay? So, ilagay ko dito, let x be the number. So, ibig sabihin, yung x, yun yung hinahanap nating number. So, 4 over x and then is equal to, equal daw siya kanino, kay 3 divided by the number, yung number na yun, okay, minus 2. Decrease by 2, decrease means subtraction. So, let's find the number. So, para ito ay ma-manipulate natin, kailangan, kailangan, kailangan lang natin i-cross multiply yan. So, we will have here 4 and then x minus 2 equals to 3 times x or just 3x. Ulit ha, since fraction to, fraction to, and then we have equal sign here, we just cross multiply, okay? Having that, meron tayong 4 dito, multiplied by x minus 2, eto yun, and then 3 times x, we have 3x. And then we distribute. 4 times x is 4x, and then 4 minus 2 is how many? 4 minus 2 Ay, 4 minus 2, sorry. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Naintindihan ba ako? Teka lang, mukhang ano ko doon ah. Hindi ako naintindihan. Again, 4 times x is 4x. So 4 times negative 2 is negative 8 equals to 3x. And then now, we have to transpose. Ito, dalin siya sa kalike terms niya, which is k4. And then ito, ilipat dito sa kabila. So, I will have now 4x from positive 3 magiging negative 3x na siya. Okay? Equals to, so, si 8 nilipat natin. So, being negative 8, paglipat natin doon, magiging positive 8 na siya. So, 4x minus 3x is x equals 8. So, our number is 8. Okay, if you want to check it, pwede naman natin i-check. Check. check king. Okay? Kakaiba ko. Check king. So, we have to check. Tignan lang natin kung tama tayo. So, we will have here 4 and then our x daw ay 8. So, 8 equals ba daw yan if we have 3 over 8 minus 2. Ito yun o. No? 8. Yung x papalitan natin ng 8 minus 2. So, we have here 4 over 8 is 1 half. Pag ni lowest term, equals ba siya kay 3 over 8 minus 2? 8 minus 2, 6. What is 3 over 6? 1 half din siya. So, 1 half is equal to 1 half. So, we are correct. So, the answer is really 8. Now, kung nagustuhan mo ang video na ito, please don't forget, wag naman ipagkait kay ma'am ang like, ang inyong comment, kahit ano pa yan, natutuwa ako sa mga comments ninyo. At i-share nyo to, please pakishare po para marami pang makapanood. At kung ikaw ay bago pa lang sa ating YouTube channel, wag kalimutang pindutin ang subscribe button at ang notification bell para lagi kang updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Please like, share, and comment. <laughs> Tatawa tuloy ako. And let's spread the love of math. Bye!